This is the Depths Tech Dual Lens Industrial Endoscope. So the product page says that it's 1080p, but also that it's two megapixels. So yeah, what I really like about this endoscope is that it comes in a case, so I don't lose it easily. I always know where it is. It comes with a 16 and a half foot long cord. That is a really long cable. That is really nice. It also comes with a built-in screen and a built-in battery, so I can always use it. I don't have to hook it up to a phone or anything like that. And it does have two cameras. It's got one on the end, it's got one on the side, and the cameras have lights on them. As I've been using this, I've noticed the following. So first of all, anything wider than two inches in area is not really that great. It kind of starts getting darker out of focus. It actually says on the Amazon page, I think it goes from like one inch to three inches or something like that. So when I tried it in the AC vent, it worked okay. I could kind of see some things, but the AC vent was kind of too big for this to be able to see everything. I also put it in a PVC pipe outside. I was trying to look at what was blocking my water shut off. It wasn't quite as good as I was hoping. Like I could make out that there are some pine cones down there, some rocks that my kids lovingly throw down there. Everything else I've used this on has worked really quite well. I put this in between the rafters in my house and there's a lot of bugs and spiders and stuff. Yay, uh, that's probably not great. I also use this to check out some things under the cabinet and this worked really well. I could see what was there. I put it in a toaster just for fun, just to see what it would look like. And yeah, there's some crumbs in there as I would expect. And then and I also put it in a Coke can, which turns out this is probably about the perfect size. Looking inside the Coke can, everything looked nice and kind of in focus and well lit. I also put this in the garbage disposal. And the nice thing about this is that this is completely waterproof. So I was able to actually turn the water on, turn on the garbage disposal while this was inside, kind of check out what's going on. Now on the Amazon description page, it says this. The endoscope camera can capture two megapixels, crisp pictures, and 1080p HD fluent videos. So I don't really know what HD fluent means, but uh, the image quality is really not that great. Now, to be sure, I've used a handful of different endoscopes and they are all not that great. So this is kind of the same as what you would see from any endoscope. The other thing the Amazon product description says is the boroscope adopts the second CMOS chip, which supports the highest recording frame rate and solved the problem of picture delay. So <laughs> there's definitely a bit of delay and you're probably getting about two to three frames per second. So again, th this is the same as what I've seen with other endoscopes or boroscopes. So I would say if you're looking for something with amazing image or camera quality, th this is going to be the same as what you see with everything else. I imagine there are some on the market that are more expensive and better, but Overall, using this is really nice. It's got a power button, you turn it on. It has a rotate button if you wanna rotate what the angle is on the screen. If you hold down the rotate button, it will actually switch to the different camera, the one on the side or the one on top. And then if you hold it down again, it will kind of do a split camera mode. So it will show both cameras at the same time. There's also a picture button. If you do a single press, it takes a picture. If you press and hold, it records a video. All of this goes to the SD card, which is actually included with the product, which is nice. I didn't have to buy an SD card for this. And both cameras have lights that come on it. You can adjust the brightness of the lights. I'm not sure why you would want to turn it down, but you can if you want to. It also has a menu if you want to change some basic settings. You can go from 1080p to 720p. It's not going to make any difference at all. So overall, I'm really happy with this endoscope. I think it's great. The camera quality, yes, it could be better. I don't know why endoscopes don't have good camera image quality, but there's that. I would like to point out that I did receive this unit for free to do this review. So thank you, Debs Tech, for sending this to me. If you want to see the current price, I have a link posted below so you can check it out on Amazon. Thanks.